I can call in and report tomorrow and I can make it seem very real to the point that a family will be investigated. And whoever gets it could come up with a substantiation of, say, let's say, neglect. And it might not be true. But it, it doesn't matter. This former Child Protective Services supervisor recently told Target 32 about the pressure to pluck kids from their parents and adopt them out. The theory? More adopted kids means more federal bonus money to the Cabinet for Health and Family Services. This woman worked at the Lincoln Trail Regional CPS office in Elizabethtown, the focus of a year-long Inspector General's investigation that found misconduct, abuse of power, even forgeries by social workers. Now we've learned those social workers will keep their jobs. This letter from the Cabinet says there was, quote, insufficient evidence to pursue termination. The letter says six workers have either been demoted, transferred to other jobs, or have just retired. Four others have either resigned or retired. If I'm a resident anywhere in Kentucky, but especially Hardin County, uh, I still don't have guarantees. I mean, I still don't know if the system is in place to make sure that a rogue social worker doesn't do in my kid or my family. Dr. Terry Brooks heads Kentucky Youth Advocates. A report by his group sparked the investigation. He says the cabinet's decision sends the wrong message. If I'm a supervisor out in the field, uh, the ruling today did not exactly empower me to take on workers that I was concerned about. Uh, the real message is just kind of let it slide if it's not a disaster. E-Town attorney Bob Bishop agrees. He represents families who are fighting to keep their kids. I think the message is that we're invincible, we're bulletproof, we're Superman, we don't make mistakes. Well, good God, everybody makes mistakes. Mistakes Bishop believes will continue without more accountability. The end result here does not bode well for the trust of the public or the family.